I was quite surprised. And she was off a bit before I was ready, but anyway, gear up, climbing away. Looking good. G'day. I'm Phil from PhilTech, and in this video, we're going to talk about how I got started in building model aeroplane engines. Um, it's been an obsession with me since a younger age. I didn't start with a liquid-cooled V12. I had to start with something a bit simpler. So I'll show you what I started with. This is the first model piston engine that uh, we built here at Filtech. Um, it's a single cylinder 1.5 cc model diesel engine. A relatively simple design, but it was a really great learning curve. I didn't have CNC gear and I didn't have a lot of money to buy uh, die cast molds, etc. So I thought, well, let's firstly start with the, the crankcase. Now you will notice it's painted red and that's for a good reason. This is the casting I used. It's actually a sand casting and I we made the molds here ourselves, or the pattern. And it was a little bit rough around the edges, so I decided I'll paint them, it'll look nicer, and disguise a bit of the casting discrepancies. Now, also, let's talk about some other unusual parts of the design. The, the exhaust system, normally those lovely Japanese built model engines have a beautiful die cast exhaust pipe or silencer but it didn't have the cash to go along that line. So I'd like, and I thought I'd like to be a bit different. So I went with a style off a motorbike, a flange here that um, actually was made from extruded, got an extruded section and we turned it up on the lathe because all we had was pegboard automatic lathes which many of you out there probably have no idea what they are. Um, if I can find a photo, I'll add that. So we made a little tool, turned up, it turned up a pipe, made a tool to roll it into that shape there and had a screw on silencer on the end. So something a bit different, but it, it worked. Um, the carburetor, well, that was mostly milled up on manual milling machines and jigs and fixtures, because that's how we did it. So it's very block shaped, as you can imagine. Um, the, we went with a screw on sump plug commonly used on some of the 19 more 60s and 70s model engines by the 80s and 90s they were tended to go with a nice die cast and four little screws but here again we didn't have that sort of capacity so we went with the old style and it's quite effective and put a little lower ring on it and in there you can see the crankshaft and the conrod Oh, the conrod was an unusual thing. I designed the whole thing and then discovered I couldn't actually put it together, so we had to mill a little step in the conrod so you could actually slide it in and move it, position it onto the end of the uh, crank pin. And I suppose we then we finished it off by putting a nice press metal plate with the logo on it and, and little brass pressed in um, uh, sort of rivets just to give it a different look because we're all about trying to add a bit of style. So that was the first modem we made, made these few hundred at a time and got started. So from there we realised that we need, really needed to move to a glow plug type engine. So we came up with 
this version. Um, we change the colour, obviously to signify that it's a different version of the engine, still the same cubic capacity, 1.5 cc's. Um, we redesigned the cylinder head to include the glow plug and put the cooling fins along the top. Um, we kept the similar carburetor uh, and obviously the same nameplate there. But we did find that we needed to modify the exhaust pipe and silencer. We found that the long pipe that we'd had on the diesel didn't really work well with a uh, glow plug type motor and we had to have a fairly short sort of header stack here before the gases entered into the silencer and, and that significantly improved the performance. Um, that was the main changes that we made to make make a glow plug. So now we had a motor that would run off methanol. Um, well that's enough talk about the first production Filtec engine. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like. See you around.